Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC and this uh, circle with the center O put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, the side uh, BC of this uh, right triangle uh, is uh, tangent to this uh, circle uh, at this point uh, E. And moreover, uh, the side uh, length uh, AB is uh, 3 units, whereas uh, this chord uh, length uh, AD is uh, 3 units as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, segment uh, CD length is uh, 1 unit. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of uh, this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, circle. I'm going to label the radius uh, of this circle as uh, lowercase r. And now we are going to find the value of uh, radius lowercase r. And now let's recall the tangent secant theorem. As you can see in this given diagram, we can see this uh, PA is the tangent and uh, PC is the secant. Then according to this uh, tangent secant uh, theorem, we could write uh, PA square is going to be equal to PB times uh, PC. In other words, uh, the square of this uh, tangent is going to be equal to the segment uh, PB times uh, this whole uh, secant uh, PC as you can see in this given equation. And now we are going to apply this uh, tangent secant uh, theorem on this given problem. And our uh, tangent segment is uh, EC. So therefore we could write uh, EC square is going to be equal to this segment uh, CD which is uh, I can write uh, CD over here times uh, this whole uh, secant uh, AC. So I can write uh, times uh, AC over here. So let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So EC square is going to be equal to CD is simply 1 times this uh, AC is whole length is going to be 3 plus 1 is going to give us 4. So this is going to be times 4. So therefore we could write uh, EC square is going to be equal to 4. And now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore we could see that our segment EC length is going to be positive 2 units. So therefore our this uh, segment EC length turns out to be 2. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case uh, our hypotenuse is going to be this whole AC that is going to be 3 plus 1 is going to make it uh, Four units whereas our this uh, leg AB is uh, 3 units and this uh, is our BC leg. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, BC square plus uh, 3 square is going to be equal to 4 square. Let's simplify it. So this is going to be BC square plus 9 equal to 16. And now I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. So therefore we could see this cancels out. So therefore BC square is going to be equal to 7. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore our BC length is going to be square root of 7. So therefore our this whole side BC length turns out to be square root of 7. 
And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, EC segment length is uh, 2. So therefore, uh, this tiny BE length uh, has got to be square root of uh, 7 minus uh, 2. And here's our next step. I'm going to connect uh, this uh, center row with this point of tangency E. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now we know that this uh, OE is our radius uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees. So no wonder our this angle has got to be a 90 degree angle. Since this is our radius lowercase r and this is our tangent line. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, OF uh, on this uh, side uh, AB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OF uh, length is going to be equal to this uh, BE length. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, OF length is going to be square root of 7 minus 2 as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, segment uh, BF length is going to be equal to this uh, OE length and we know this is our radius lowercase r so therefore uh, FB length has got to be lowercase r radius as well and we know that this whole side uh, AB length uh, is uh, 3 so therefore uh, this remaining segment uh, AF length has got to be 3 minus uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, this segment AF length turns out to be 3 minus R. Now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point A as well. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, AO is the radius of this circle. So I'm going to label this one as lowercase r. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, AFO right uh, here. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, radius R. Whereas our two other legs are uh, 3 minus R and square root of 7 minus 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 3 minus uh, R whole square plus likewise uh, square root of 7 minus uh, 2 whole square equals to r square. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2 times a b. And we are going to apply this uh, identity on uh, these uh, two binomials on the left hand side of this equation. So therefore we could write this thing as uh, 9 plus uh, r square minus uh, 6 times r plus likewise that's going to be 7 plus uh, 4 minus uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 7 is going to be equal to r square. And now we can see this r square and this r square this is gone. And now let's go ahead and combine uh, these uh, like terms. So therefore we could write uh, 9 plus 7 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 20 minus uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 7 minus 6 times uh, r equal to 0. And now I'm going to move this 6 times uh, r on the other side. So therefore we could write uh, 6 times uh, r is going to be equal to 20 minus uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 7. And here we can see we got uh, 2 in common. So therefore we could write uh, 6 times uh, r equals to 2 times uh, 10 minus 2 times uh, square root of uh, 7. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 6 to isolate radius r. This 6 and 6 is gone. So therefore, our radius lowercase r is going to be equal to, we could see 2 and 6 reduced to 1 third. 
So therefore our radius lowercase r is going to be 10 minus 2 times square root of 7 all over 3 units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our radius uh, turns out to be 10 minus uh, 2 times square root of 7 all over 3 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 1.57 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye